And now, another emotional episode of As the Bread Rises. These are government issued solar panels, Sergeant Hogwash. They can power the entire base. Is that understood? Sir, understood, sir! Hook them up double time. Then give one panel to every civilian in the nearby area. At ease. <laughs> Officers. Eh, I don't see any civilians in the area. So, I guess these extra panels are mine. <laughs> Perfect for heating up my new hot tub and sauna. Huh? short stuff. Major didn't say nothing about no penguins getting solar panels. Slide part A in the holes in part B. That's easy as up, two, three, four. Now attach part B to part C. Say, short stuff. Unauthorized removal of military equipment is against Arctic Corps regulation. Snakey little prayer. Trying to outflank me, huh? Take that! Enough! Enough! Uh -oh. Not so fast, little buddy. One solar panel pilfering penguin discharged from this man's army. Time to light this candle. Funny. Engines burn away, but I didn't push the start button. Yet. That overdressed bird will not go a wall with my solar power. This detail is over. <laughs> nice touch. Very classy. And I know classy when I see it. Work is done. Time for fun. Now I'm in. Watch me swim. That's a fin. Hmm, this looks familiar. Must be a copy of one of them famous museum pieces. Venus to miles to go, that's it. Everything the enlisted man needs to have a good time in the tub. <sighs> huh? Who's messing with my duck? Hmm, could have sworn that statue was over there before. Get back here, you! We are now in launch mode. Ah, yes. Brings back memories of the time when I was a military high dive champion. Used to use softer water. This calls for a frontal assault. Charge! Poor battlefield tactics, soldier. No retreat plan. Whoa! Tough being ground zero, ain't it? I was military bowling champion, too. Hear me off the starboard bow! Sneak attack! Battle stations! Every man for himself! Huh? Whoa! Sub at six o'clock! Gonna open this sardine can and extract one pesky penguin! <laughs> Get me out of here, you little tuxedo terrorist! Victory through air power! Consequences 
of impersonating a naval submarine commander. You may think you're winning this battle, soldier, but I'm gonna win this war! The Coupe de Grasse, my son. <sighs> Who is it? Either the enemy has grown or I've shrunk. Uh oh. Bad news from the front. <laughs> What's going on here, soldier? I I can explain, sir. Saunas and hot tubs are not regulation, soldier. No, sir. Neither is your size. Not regulation, sir. I want this hot tub and this sauna off my base. Do you read me loud and clear? Sir, yes, sir. Loud and clear, sir. Way down here, sir. I'm busting you down to private. Understand, Pipsqueak? Sir, Pipsqueak, understand, sir. And now a word from Smedley's Scrumptious Frozen Fish Dinners. Howdy. Are you a hungry TV watcher? Let me show you how I fast freeze all that great taste into my frozen dinners. I use only the most modern freezing methods available to man a dog. This here is liquid nitrogen. Whatever y'all do, do not try this at home. Um, go buy Smedley's frozen fish dinners. Meanwhile, I'll search for a new freezing technique. That won't leave me broke. Outstanding debt, 7,300. Current cash, zero. You owe money in 17 states and... <laughs> the Antarctic is the perfect place to find the newest fast freezing techniques that will succeed where my latest ideas have failed. I could have sworn I heard something. Huh? Now, I definitely don't remember that there windsock. Owning a frozen dinner franchise can be a mighty chilly business. People will stop at nothing to steal your fast freezing secrets. The ice here in the Antarctic is the most frigidest ice in the world. And cold contact is my newest freezing technique. These here ice blocks will quick freeze my dinners faster than a bug in a blizzard. <laughs> now hold on one ice picking minute here, small fry. delivery. Send this pest to the remotest corner of the world. Now, if I place my dinner right here, 
the frigid wind chill factor from this here fan will blow on it. Then, when the thermometer drops to here, my dinners will be frozen solid. chill factor from this here fan will make the mercury in that there thermometer drop faster than a bad chin tuck. Hmm, looks like I'll need more wind chill than I first thunk. Long underwear, here I come. Right there, you snowbound bamboozler. You got no right taking this here food before it's properly frozen, and no right taking it, period, question mark. Do I make myself clear as an ice cube? Oh, little fella, say. You really are a fan of Smedley's frozen fish dinners. 485,000 dollars for Smedley's frozen fish dinners from the Igloo Emporium. 96 cents. You gotta understand, I'm just trying to find the best method to fast freeze all that tasty freshness into my frozen dinners. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Why, of course! Who would know better? The secrets of fast freezing than a penguin. One for you. And one for me. One for you. And one for me. One for you. And one for me. Yep. Like my Uncle Fritz always used to say, you can lead a penguin to water, but it takes one smart dog to make him fish for you. What a cold Christmas this turned out to be, especially in the Arctic regions. One thing's for sure, Santa's got it made in the shade this year. The Jolly Old Elf's toy delivery route will take him around the world, including stops in warm spots like the Bahamas, San Tropez, and Bora Bora. Guess we'd all like to ride along with him this Christmas. Santa makes the list, but as head elf of this here workshop, it is my Christmas duty to check it twice. Naughty, naughty, nice. Why, looky here. Little Robbie gets a paddle ball. Hmm, eye-hand coordination never was my strong suit. The great thing about this toy is that it feels so good when you stop. I better get back to work if and I want to be Santa's exclusive ride-along helper this year. Hmm? Now, now there, little fella. Santa's got a rule against peeking at presents before Christmas. Yup, I'm sorry, but you gotta make like you're under the mistletoe and kiss off. Huh? Ouch! 
I'm telling you for the last time, this here sack is not for peekers. I'm gonna send this penguin all the way to springtime. The holiday season is not the best time to take up running. Oh, Smedley! Smedley! Smedley, where are you? Uh -huh. Now, Smedley, there's no time to lay about on the job. There's work to be done. <laughs> you need to finish up the gift list while I get ready for my midnight ride. Aye, aye, Mr. C. Right away, sir. I gotta work extra diligent like now so as I can get to ride along with Santa Claus. Doggy, check. Aw, uh, ain't he cuter than a bug's ear? Ducky, check. <laughs> Kinda reminds me of Aunt Mabel's Thanksgiving dinner. Not nearly enough stuffing. Pangu Penguin? <laughs> Looks like I got me a misfit toy. This is what we elves call an occupational hazard. You are hankering to be numero uno on Santa's naughty list, aren't you? Here's one finely crafted airplane. <sighs> yes, sir. With my attention to detail, Sam is sure to pick me as this year's ride along elf helper. Uh -huh. Usually it's the tree that gets trimmed, not the elf. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I'll ground that penguin for sure. Uh -huh. Whoa! I say, whoa! Uh-oh. In your face, penguin. Uh, yeah, uh, my abashed apologies, sir. Smedley, what have I told you about playing with the toys? They're for the good boys and girls. Now please, get back to work. If that little penguin thinks he's got the best of this elf, he's barking up the wrong chimney. So, he wants to get in this bag, does he? Well, the only sure way to stop a penguin is chemistry. If and I whip me up here some super sticky glue, I'll trap him like a fly in molasses. <laughs> Tree sap. Icky goo. Puss and stuff. Chewing gum. Nitroglycerin. Ooh. Smedley, I want to thank you for all your hard work this Christmas. But you look so tired. Take the rest of the night off. Ho, 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 ho. But, but I... Ho, 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 ho. Huh? Wait, Santa, wait! Make sure you give that chili nothing but call for Christmas. Whoa! You hear me? Nothing but cold, hard call. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas!
Meat, meat, everywhere meat and not a single vegetable to be found. I really must move to a more civilized climate. <laughs> oh, just so, old chap. What you need is a proper feast of veggies and tapioca pudding. <laughs> One ice rutabaga, some snowball Brussels sprouts, and some nice icicle carrots. Bravo! A positively brilliant meal. Satisfied now, old boy. Oh, no! We aren't hungry anymore, old boy. There can be no boiled ham if we are to be proper vegetarians. <laughs> Nor the hot dog. It, too, is a meat byproduct. I will have no more of your carnivorous charade shenanigans. Hmm. Perhaps a good snooze will get your mind back in order. Nice warm smell of fire. No, it can't be, but it is a succulent stuffed squab. <laughs> no, oh dear, I really can't go back to my old ways. The life of a carnivore is so detestable. I will not touch the squab. All animal life is precious to me. However, one cannot completely deny one's weaknesses. I wouldn't... Hmm, not bad. Young, nice. Playful yet delicate. Tastes of cinnamon, blueberries, uh, and just a hint of, of. Ah, yes, smoked salmon, of course. <laughs> My finicky feasting must not be fouled by that frigid fowl. This is you. This is me. And being a civilized vegetarian, I nonetheless have all the natural urges of my forefathers. The most primal of all these urges is to consume meat products. And so, my dear Jeeves, you being just such a bully meat product yourself, should therefore vamoose. Understand? The dear boy undoubtedly took the hint. After all, you can't argue with logic. Sorry, lad, but I must take drastic measures. Where to, Mac? Oh, the lad would like to go to the North Pole to see Santa Claus. Okay, Mac, load him up. And now, back to my nap. Jolly bad luck. Now, 
Now look here, Jeeves. You, you can't just bully well go around behaving with such willy-minded duckiness. <coughs> <coughs> This is the last straw. I am leaving now, and you will bully well stay here. Do you comprehend? <laughs> oh, what now, old boy? A tropical island? I say, we are due for a vacation, aren't we? And bananas are quite lovely this time of year. To the islands, then! Oh, don't tell me you've grown attached to the diminutive squab now, have you? <laughs> oh, I suppose we could take this little fellow along. You'd finally leave me alone if I took you someplace warm and cosy? <coughs> All right, then it's settled. We'll have a smashing good time. Oh, I'll make us all banana splits, banana pudding, ooh, banana pie, bananas flaming. <laughs>